What's up everybody, I'm Finn McKenty. This is the Punk Rock MBA. Came across an article on high snobiety that I thought was interesting, wanted to share with you guys, talk a little bit about what I think it means. So I'll just read it to you real quickly, the, not the whole thing, I'll put a link in the description here to the whole thing, but the headline is, sober celebs are more visible than ever. Is it finally time to stop drinking? From Tyler, the creator, to Kendrick Lamar, a new generation of non-drinkers is emerging. Uh, Angela Waters looks at the shift to see what's causing people to put down their glass. If you've been nursing a gin and juice, you may not have noticed, but not everybody at the party is drinking. As a generation, millennials are drinking less than their parents, and it's not just because they burn themselves out before they've reached a legal drinking age. Need proof? Just look at celebrities. So it talks about, like, you know, again, Kendrick Lamar, talks about Kim Kardashian, Vince Staples, uh, 50 Cent, uh, you know, kind of goes through Eminem. So what this article is basically saying is that they think this is part of some larger trend of people uh, in entertainment and outside of entertainment who are choosing not to drink. Now, to me, you know, growing up in hardcore, I was straight edge back in the day and went to a lot of like straight edge hardcore shows. A lot of my friends were straight edge. So to me, the idea of people in entertainment, people in bands and people in the scene not drinking isn't new. But I think that's a, a, a less common thing in the mainstream, you know, still partying and music go hand in hand, right? And even it's even more than that. I think that the quote unquote business culture of creativity goes hand in hand with alcohol. Like if you work at a design firm or something like that and it's Friday afternoon, everyone's gonna go out for drinks, right? That's like, they're gonna go to happy hour. That's how people socialize. When you go to the company Christmas party, everybody gets fucked up. So I think that the culture of creativity and partying have always gone hand in hand, probably always will. And when it comes to music, the quote unquote business culture being linked to alcohol, being like linked to partying and stuff is obviously like even stronger than that, right? Like so much business gets done when everyone's fucked up at a party, at the bar, whatever. That's just kind of the way it's always been. Like for example, I go to NAMM every year, which is like the biggest basically networking event in the music industry. There's like 90,000 people there, primarily from like the music instrument industry. So like any company that makes guitars or amps or drums or anything like that, or any kind of recording software, um, but there's tons and tons of people from bands there. I mean, it's it's the biggest event in the music industry. It's 100,000 people that go to this thing. There's like a show, it's a trade show. So there's like, you know, Fender has a booth and Ernie Ball has a booth and all this stuff. But the real business gets done after hours at the bar. So there's like two big hotels kind of outside the convention center. That's where the real business gets done after like six o'clock when the convention shuts down. Everybody goes to the hotels and parties until fucking whatever, two in the morning, whenever they close out the bar. And then people probably do a few lines <laughs> and do a little bit more work in their rooms afterwards until the sun comes up. I don't know. And it's always a little bit tough for me because that's, I'm not into that anymore. You know, there was a time I was straight edge for a while and then I partied for a couple years pretty hard and now I don't anymore, not because I'm like straight edge again or anything like that, I'm just kind of over it. It's just not really how I want to spend my time. And it's a little hard for me because I feel like I'm missing out on stuff because I don't want to stay up until three in the morning and get drunk every night because I want to go to the gym in the morning and I don't like staying out late and I don't want to do that to myself and I think it's annoying to be around all these drunk people. And so I always ask myself like, man, like am I holding myself back? Like would I be getting more out of Nam if I just like kind of said, fuck it, okay, fine, I'll go drink with everybody. Nobody's peer pressuring me, like nobody's going, oh, come on, man, go have a drink with us. But I do feel a little bit of pressure, like I'm probably like, man, I should be out there partying with everybody, right? So I've heard from a lot of people that have similar kind of challenge, whether it's in music or, you know, anywhere, really, a real part of business culture is drinking. The thing that a lot of people have asked me about is like, I don't want to drink either because they used to have a problem or because like me, they're just kind of not really into it. So their question is like, how do I keep this from holding me back or is it going to hold me back that I don't that I don't want to drink and the answer is no it's not going to hold you back if you do the right things a lot of business does get done at the bar a lot of business does get done done over drinks so if you're into it go for it but for those of us who are not it is totally possible to be successful without doing that stuff it's totally possible to be a good networker without drinking, without partying, without staying out late, without doing any of that stuff that you don't wanna do. Because here's the thing, nobody actually cares whether you drink or not. The important part is that you show up and you're cool and you have fun and you hang out with everybody. Being social 
definitely matters. Being social matters a lot. Whether you are doing that with a drink in your hand or not really doesn't matter. So the fact that you don't drink is not gonna hold you back unless you let it. And in fact, it could actually be an advantage because you, <laughs> because you're sober, you are much less likely to do or say some dumb shit that all the other drunk people are doing. So it can be a little bit weird and annoying and awkward to be around like drunk people, but it's only gonna be weird and awkward for you because they're drunk in their eyes and their head. They're the coolest person in the room. There's everything they're saying is hilarious. They're not noticing the fact that it's awkward and uncomfortable for you. So don't worry about it. Just kind of power through it. You'll be fine. Again, the important part is just that you show up, have fun, talk with everybody. Don't make a big deal out of it. That's the only way that it could hold you back is if you somehow make a big deal out of the fact that you're not drinking. Uh, if someone offers you a drink, someone's like, hey, uh, you know, can I, can I, what can I buy you? Something like that. Say club soda or diet Coke or whatever it is you want to drink. Don't be like, get that fucking shit out of my face, man. I'm fucking straight edge. Like, I don't want your fucking poison. That's a good way to fuck up your career to like ruin this networking opportunity. Don't do that. Just say like, nah, I'm good. Like, hey, you know, you want to do shots of this? They're like, nah, I'm good. You know, nobody will really care. That's it. And maybe at most they might say, oh, you don't, you don't drink. You're like, yeah, you know, not really, you know, or like, no, not tonight. Something like that. Nobody is going to care. There are maybe going to be a few random people that have a problem and give you a hard time with it. And in every case, the reason they don't like it, that you are, aren't drinking is because it points, it reminds them that they have a problem. So don't worry about it. Very, very, very rare, really not a factor. So don't worry about it. Do be social, do go out there, laugh, have a good time, but don't worry. Don't make a big deal out of it and don't let it hold you back. It will not be a problem unless you let it be a problem. Okay, so I don't know if this is a real trend, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think. There, the article is suggesting that it's not just these like rappers and athletes and, and entertainers. They're saying that it's a lot of like younger people who are deciding to drink less. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. I want to know, is this actually a reflection of a larger trend or is this just, you know, are they just making this shit up in the article? Tell me in the comments. I would love to hear what you think. I hope it's a real trend. Again, not because I'm like Mr. Straight Edge that wants to fucking slap the drinks out of everybody's hands. I just, I would like to see less cool people fuck up their lives by by partying too much and I really hate to see people feel pressured into doing shit that they don't want to do so I hope this is part of a real trend but we'll see I would especially love to hear from you if you were one of these people that has felt pressured or wondered if it's going to hold you back that you don't drink tell me in the comments what your experiences are with that all right guys I'm Finn McKenty this is the punk rock NBA I'm going to sign off for now but if you found this helpful please the number one thing I would love for you to do is subscribe to this channel if you don't want to subscribe for some weird reason or if you already are subscribed please like the video, share the video, tag a friend, leave a comment, whatever it is you can do to help spread the word would be much appreciated. All right, guys, I'm signing off for now, but I will see you next time.